safari cars are the best. Modifying used to be simpler. If you wanted something high, you started with a truck. If you wanted something low, you started with an Audi. But times, they have changed, and our road system has crumbled to the point where the daily commute can feel a little more like off-roading than it can like canyon carving, especially where I live in Los Angeles or here in the snowy, cold Northeast. Enter safari culture, or more commonly known as the building of rally cars. A half-frozen racetrack is usually not a place you'd want to bring your expensive imported car. But it's actually the perfect place for a rally-style wagon with all-wheel drive and winter tires. This is a B5 Audi RS4. It has a 385 horsepower, 2.7 liter twin turbo V6, legendary Audi all-wheel drive, and the classic modern Audi proportions that we just love, especially in wagon form. This particular RS4 was sold new in Japan, only to be federalized in America and sold to a wheel company who, shocker, stance nation the hell out of it. While you gotta do what you gotta do to sell some rims, and I understand, I'm thankful that somebody saved this Audi, turning it into more of a B5 RS4 all-road that can be used daily, no matter the conditions. The commissioner of this build lives in Massachusetts, known for having horrific roads, but still wanted to drive fast year round. So, with an open checkbook, this is what AI design has come up with. The B5 RS4. This is a legendary car. In fact, it's quite a privilege to be driving one. They were never sold in America. They were Japan, Europe only. They featured an upgraded version of the 2.7 turbo engine. The cylinder heads by Cosworth, bigger turbos, better cooling, and a lot more power. The RS4 really established what the RS meant in sort of a modern mainstream set. The RS4 is beautiful. I mean, it looks great. It's also the right size. I mean, you can fit four people and a bunch of stuff in this car without any trouble at all, and it still isn't enormous. Now, when you safari a car, if it's done right, what should happen is you should be accentuating the on-road dynamics of the vehicle in a loose surface environment. And so what that means is, on the street you give up some of your ultimate grip because of the tires and you should have a little more body roll. But when the surface gets loose, it should turn in properly, like it's doing. It should grip and it should have body roll that is progressive and allows you to really feel the weight transfer. Oh, hello. Ah! So here we are in Monticello Motor Club, a racetrack in winter. There are patches of snow and ice on the track and it is 35 degrees Fahrenheit outside. So we have a mixed surface condition, cold, wet roads, patches of snow and ice. And I can actually still <laughs> drive around at a pretty decent pace. I've still got great power. I have a totally stocked powertrain. I've still got extra ground clearance. I've got really good grip in this loose surface environment, but it doesn't really seem I've given much up. It's fast. <laughs> it's still pretty fast. This thing is a stock powertrain, 19 years old, and with heavier wheels and tires than stock. It still feels good. It's quiet. 
It's not in your face offensive. It's not brap brap burble tune. It doesn't shoot fire. And what I really like about it is that it blends. You don't, you don't see it immediately. It could drive by and immediately just escape your eyes. And I really like that. Because you can cover a lot of ground at a lot of speed without being noticed. And that's good. So they haven't ruined the RS-ness, which is amazing. Because if you ruined that to make it taller, that would have just seemed like a waste of an RS. Because you could do it with an S. <laughs> I gotta see how they did this. There are plenty of shops in America who will, for a price, give you approximately what you asked for. But if price is no object, you call AI Design. Located in a nondescript warehouse in Little Tuckahoe, New York, AI Design is what would happen if Tiffany's and Willy Wonka got together to build cars. They're the ones who made Matt Black popular, and they're the ones who built Alex Roy's Cannonball M5. Founded by Matt Figliola in 1992, they don't have customers, they have patrons. And instead of customer service reps, they have automotive fixers like Ryan Offenhertz, who can make any automotive whim a reality. Ryan, what's up? What's up, man? Tell me this story, because <laughs> <laughs> first one of these I've seen. First one you've seen in the U.S. No, or, first or in RS4 general. with a Safari conversion. <laughs> I think seen. it's the only RS4 with a, with a Safari conversion. Which uh, backs up my first <laughs> statement. So what is actually involved in the lift itself? So it, since it has independent suspension on mm -hmm. all corners, you can only lift it so much. Uh -huh. um, but we didn't want to have the pogo stick effect of giant springs where the whole thing's, you know, we'd lose the RS. It's still an RS. So we took street track suspension on, it's on conies with custom springs, and we add it to the bottom of the shock. Okay. So it still has the same spring rate, spring length, all the stuff you would have for you know, a track day. Just taller. Just taller. So like with AI, um, <laughs> in my experience, it's all about hiding yes. the money, right? Everything is kind of stealthily hidden. Well, you can start with the trim, right? Mm -hmm. You don't see the trim. All of this trim was silver. But then the little details like getting rid of all the logos on the car. So. Um, the wheels, they're OZs. Normally the OZs come where it says OZ around the wheel. Yeah. We powder coated them black. We painted the center caps black. We didn't put any logos on on purpose. Yeah, and we're not just talking about right. Audi badges. We're talking no. about any visible brand logo at all. Right, there was a little Pia that was on the wiper. Yeah. And I didn't want the Pia on the wiper. I didn't want the Yakima on the roof rack. You know, and that's the look that we want it to look like super OEM. Yeah, okay, so this thing is Clearly not just an off-the-rack item. Tell me about this. Uh, so this um, is obviously, it's a custom light bar. Um, so first we CAD designed it. We 3D scanned the front bumper to get the profile. Um, and then we designed one and we built it out of plastic first. Okay. Just to get the fit, the finish, how we wanted it um, to house the lights. And then we had it um, five axis CNC'd out of a 350 pound piece of aluminum. Um, and then we anodized it. Right. So it's pretty much unchippable. And what's it? Mounted to behind. it's mounted so this this bumper actually when you take the bumper off of this car the metal reinforcement is attached to the plastic Okay, so it's so mounted actually, directly to the metal into something it, it wouldn't would just act as the bumper um, And then about and then what about the inside? I really like the texture of this cloth it uh, it reminds me of like a, a boat honestly a marine type of deal Yes, yeah, so that's a factory um, most of the finishes in the inside are factory, except we changed the seat belt to... Um, Wait, this, this is factory? That's factory. No, it's not. That's factory. Are you sure? I'm positive. It yeah. is? Yeah. This is factory? Yeah. yeah. Well, I've never, I've never seen this fabric before, but apparently it is factory. Yeah, it's really awesome, okay. and so we didn't want to change it because it's such a cool touch in the car. Yeah. All right, so someone said ask about the dog bed. <laughs> so around back, um, this particular client takes his dogs with him everywhere. Um, so we put custom-made dog beds oh, in so there. Oh, so that's a bed. That's a dog the bed. The floor of the trunk. It's the is floor a dog of bed. the trunk. It's it's custom cut in. It's memory oh. foam. And you've got like the gym the gym court uh, stuff. It's a lot easier to clean than carpet. Yeah. So we put oh, that yeah. in there. And it's it, like sport court underneath the dog bed. Oh, that's cool. And then like in a the gym. normal carpet underneath that. Yeah. Right. So we do that, that a makes, lot. That makes There's, sense. Um, do you lose spare tire because of that? So it doesn't actually have a spare in these. Oh, it had a tool kit in there, and we put subwoofers. Oh, dude. Never wanted to be a Doberman so bad. See you guys later. See if you fit in there. <laughs> it's all right. 
It's kind of comfy. Yeah, I know. So we um, we also made this center grill to fit our lights. So this is a 3D printed Great. center grill. And powertrain? Stock. So it probably works? Yeah, -ish. it works. I was concerned when I first got in this car that maybe it would only want to push off straight and it wouldn't want to turn, oh God, when things get messy. But as it turns out, you can, by transferring the weight forward to back and back to forward, use that weight transfer to your advantage. And look, big, I can actually lift, turn, lift, turn. When I do a big lift, it tucks the nose really nice. Woo! Gets the power down good. This is fabulous. It's like a luxury rally car. And now you're saying, Matt, well, why is that better than a fast crossover? Well, luxury rally car has lower center of gravity than a fast crossover. Luxury rally car, smaller than a fast crossover. And it maintains some of those sports car feelings. The steering feels like it was before. <laughs> a 17 year old RS4 isn't going to set anyone's pulses on fire out of sheer performance, right? It's an emotional connection at this point. So, trying to make one go really crazy fast doesn't make a lot of sense. Trying to make one of these usable for the daily grind, road trips, and the occasional chance to do something like this, oh, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, look, mudded, rutted, if you were trying to get to your vacation home on a beaten, weathered road, you could do it. <laughs> Safari cars are the best. I know that there are people out there that are gonna say that this is ruined now. It's not, it's not, it handles fine on the street. It wasn't gonna set a lap record anyway. It has been focused on a different discipline and that is okay with me especially when the discipline is that much fun and that practical.